Hello, this is David, and welcome to Let's Play Wild Arms 4. Today, we uh, just landed, got out of uh, Belial's asshole dimensional jail thing. And, uh, eh, nothing going on here. So pretty much to get out of this primeval forest that we're in, which really doesn't go with anything else that we've seen so far in Kogaya, we just go fight. You know, eh, another Mario re reference. It's kind of like you're playing Mario 1, and it's pretty much a go right. <laughs> so that's all we're doing here. Nothing much exciting going on. I took a good nap. That was nice. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Reminds me of those waterfalls in a Xenoblade. Well, why don't we take a break? We just barely started walking out of the forest. Don't tell me that you're tired already. He's being considerate of you, Raquel. Oh, for crying out loud. I told you that I'm fine, but if you keep fussing over me, that is going to wear me out. Yeah, well, I'm hungry. How about some lunch? The truth is, I really am beat. Come on, let's rest a bit. I'll make us something to eat. Really? You can cook, Yuli? It's nothing special, just a simple dish. In that case, Jude and I will take a look around and we'll leave the cooking to you. First he says he's tired, then he says he's going to take a look around. I don't understand him. We'd better have something ready by the time they return. Hmm. I don't understand why you sound like you're enjoying this, too. So, how is it? Too good for words? Raquel, uh, how'd you go about flavoring this dish? Flavoring it? Well, in swordplay terms, I guess you could say I read the wind. In other words, follow the flow, unline the blade, show no hesitation, and strike with full power. I think the show no hesitation and strike with full power is probably where you went wrong. Oh, I'm just not good at this sort of thing, am I? I hope our rations weren't wasted. No, I discovered a side of you I never knew about before, so I don't think it was a waste. And I should be able to adjust the flavor, so it'll be fine. I learned something new about you too, Yuli. So you enjoy cooking, do you? It's a lot of fun to have people enjoy the dishes that you prepare. I'd be happy to teach you if you'd like. I'd be greatly obliged. I'd like to learn to be a little more ladylike. Ah, uh, and look who's back. Man, I'm starving. Welcome back, every... What's wrong? What did you drag back with you? What are you talking about? Ah! It's a bear! Uh, I'm not a bear. A monstrous bear man thing, then! Oh, man. Bears, bears. What's with the bears, kid? Do I look like some kind of a bear to you? I'm just a starving man in search of some grub. What you got there? Sure smells tasty. By the way you're acting, you sure seem like a bear to me. I haven't eaten in five days. For the love of all that's holy, please give me some food. Oh, hey, what's in the pot? Looks delicious. No. What's the matter with you, Yuri? It isn't like you to... No. You can't have any. We haven't adjusted the flavor yet. It isn't fit to be eaten. Oh. Come on, don't be so stingy. I'm friggin' starving here! I don't care! It doesn't matter what it tastes like! Yes, it does! And if you don't care, I don't want you eating it! Oh, I can't take it anymore! <laughs> Whoa, he's sucking it up like a vacuum cleaner! But I've never seen it so stubborn, Yuli. You wouldn't even let him taste it until it was done! That's because... I mean, it's... I'm sorry. Think you can wolf it down any faster? Sheesh. Huh? Well, that's because I came across some guy passed at the edge of the forest, and I used some energy in order to rescue him. Then how could you just sit here eating? Go rescue him already! Well, you know, if I'm gonna rescue him, I'll need enough energy for the both of us. You've already eaten enough for an entire army. Anyway... 
We'd better go along on the rescue. We were looking for a way out of the forest anyway, so let's go together. Okay, well, sounds like a plan. Uh, sure, I'll purify it. Ooh. Yikes. What are these guys? Gamora Toad and Sexton. Okay, weak to fire. And they absorb water. And these guys are weak to earth. Okay, so... Also, he smash hit, is that right? Okay, so, uh, let's do this. That way I can hit both of them. Bam! Mm. That's no good. Oh, thank god he's going to Um, let's see. The kill it, that'll weaken it, that'll kill that one. Is that one going yet? Uh, that one's D. That one's C. I want to kill an A or a B. I'll kill this one. With enough of them, even pebbles can be weapons. Oh, looks like you my fuse. Okay, uh, yeah, it's time to intrude the fuck out of these guys. They just killed her. What a ugh. This should be interesting. Let me ask. Okay, well, let's kill this guy. Then we're gonna get some move and attack. So let's kill this guy. We'll intrude one more time. And I'll use a common strike to hopefully kill him. If it misses, I have the intrude. If not, perfect. Yeah, whenever you want to purify a breakpoint, it's always nice because, you know, you can turn off encounters, but you do have to fight a pretty powerful monster. So, uh, it's a trade off. But. You know, you get healed up after the battle anyway, so it really doesn't matter. So, uh, just keep on heading to the right. Here we go. That guy was kind of creepy, didn't you think? It was like, who'd you drag back with you? And there was this guy who was like, just sort of screaming at you out of nowhere. And how in the world are Arno and Jude so freaking oblivious that they don't notice the starving guy behind him? So in the second that they notice him, he screams like a bear. Ooh. Some more new enemies. Lovely. What do we have here? Renove. No weaknesses. Okay, well, we'll just kill him the best way we can have him. Looks like a witch doctor. Oh, they can heal. What a pain in the ass. Uh, yeah, let's kill these guys. Oh, I thought I'd kill them both. Oh, what a pain. Try using your brain a little. Try using your brain a little. Alright, well that's nice. Um, yeah, I'll kill this guy. And... Uh, I would have liked to just build the materials on the death, but it looks like Raquel's gonna have to come to the rescue, knock him out, and be done with it. Hopefully, dopefully. Let's go, please. God, it's such a dog. <laughs> How long is this place? Now we got these bee monsters. Okay, let's uh, see if I'm here. I can hit. Oh no, I can only hit here. But I can kill it. I might need to analyze it. Hold on one second. See if I got here. It's weak to earth. Okay, and shoot. Yeah, water. Oh, that looks like I can kill both. That'd be nice. Sweet. Blast this asshole. Hopefully, we're attacking take him out. Well, that was easy enough. Nice. This place is, like, never-ending, I swear. That the guy who's been waiting for our help, as you can see. He really needs it. By the way, uh, the guy who left him here was me. So if anything had happened to him, it would be entirely your fault. It's Raymond! He's the guy that was always exercising on his balcony back in Seattle. You know him. We're from the same village. I found him a little while ago, drifting out at sea. I had no trouble at getting him out of the water, 
but I got lost as I was carrying him around and got hungry. Then a giant bear cat attacked us. It was just one thing after another. Thank goodness I wasn't the only one that made it. That means the others might be okay too. Uh, sounds like there's more to this than meets the eye. You could say that. It's kind of a long story. Thanks for rescuing him, mister. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, yeah, don't mention it. I'll make for a better story if we forget about the part where you left him for dead while you went to go chair down. Gee, thanks, yeah. Do me a favor and forget about that part, will ya? That sign indicates that there's an old town nearby. We should be able to get treatment for him there. So he carried this man for several days all by himself, huh? That's pretty impressive. I guess I'll have to reconsider my opinion of him. Lend me a hand until we get to town, guys. I want to help Raymond. Well, we're in a different part of uh, Fogaya, a different part of the world on this uh, peninsula. Okay, well, next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 4, we will be headed to this old town. Let's see if we can figure out the name of it. No, we cannot. So uh, I'll see you guys then. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.